Hello guys, welcome back to Automation eLearn. I am your friend Suresh. In this video, I am going to discuss can we override constructor in Java. In another word, we can say can we inherit constructor in Java. So guys, before that, we have already discussed two other topics like does the order of modifiers matter in Java? And uh, second topic was can a Java file have more than one class? So we have one Java file and the requirement was like can we have two classes inside that? java file so these two topics we have already discussed and this is the third topic that we are going to discuss in this video is like can we override constructor in java so all these videos are the part of java concept and interview playlist please do watch previous videos in the playlist which will help you to clarify your java related concepts so guys before i answer this question in yes or no let me explain this with the help of practical example so that we can also understand the reason and we will see what exactly happens when we try to override a constructor in Java. So without further delay, let's jump to Eclipse workspace. And uh, here I have two classes. One is an animal which has a default constructor and it has one method called name. It is just printing some statement, right? And uh, I have another class called cat, which is actually extending animal class. And cat class also has a default constructor. And here I am overriding the name method that is coming from animal class. So animal class has one method called name, which I am overriding in cat class. And I am printing some custom message, like this is from the cat class. And uh, animal name method is printing. This is from animal class. And there is another method called cat type. It is just printing the cat type which belongs to cat class. And I have a main method here. I am creating an object of cat. So I am calling a name method which is basically overridden from the animal class. And I am calling cat type which basically belongs from the cat class. So let's run it and ensure that program is working fine. So I have a outcome as a name from cat class. Yes, name from cat class. And printing cat type. So these two statements got printed. Good, my program is working fine. So here we have overridden the name method that is basically coming from animal class. Right. And animal class also has its default constructor. And uh, let me copy this. My intention is to override the constructor the way we have overridden name method. I also want to override the constructor coming from animal class. So this is how we define a constructor, right? Name of the class and it also has an access modifier. So it doesn't have any return type. It has only two things, the name and the access modifier. So now we are getting an error saying like return type for the method is missing. Okay, maybe we have not added overridden. Let's add that but we are still getting the same error message return type for the method is missing why we are getting this error so guys basically compiler is treating this as a method why it is not treating as a constructor because as per the definition of constructor constructor name should be same as a name of the class in which it is defined so if i want compiler to treat this as a constructor then its name should be cat not animal because this is defined inside cat class in any ways it cannot be considered as a constructor so what compiler is considering is okay this is a method and it has access modifier but its return type is missing so that's why it is throwing an error like return type for the method is missing it means we cannot inherit or we cannot override constructor in java because if we will do so we will get a compile time error because in that case the name of the class and the name of the constructor would not match which is basically violating a constructor rule like name of the class and the name of the constructor should be same so if we will inherit or if we will try to override the constructor coming from the super class in this case animal class then these two name would not be same and we will get a compile time error all right so that was a quick and short discussion about overriding constructor in java so guys let me know in case of any question or any doubt i'll try my best to answer those questions and please do watch the playlist and refer those videos it will help you to clarify your concepts and if you like the content that i'm sharing in this channel please do subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends thank you for running this one thank you